time when we used to meet evil on the battlefield. And guess what we did to it? We killed it. We didn't quibble about it. We didn't argue about it. We didn't fight about it. We killed it. When the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, what did we do? We flew to Japan. And we killed the Japanese Army and Navy. We didn't even quibble about it. I didn't start this fight. You did. Some liberal somewhere is going to say that sounds awful. Too bad. Get mad at me if you want to. Some folks need killing. It's time for somebody to say it. It's not a matter of vengeance. It's not a matter of being mean or spiteful. It's a matter of necessity. Well, that was Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson back in the summer talking and preaching in a church, talking about killing liberals, talking about people that are gay, bashing them, coming against them, and that we have to take extreme measures. And many of you may have seen this guy has been in the news as of the last 48 hours or so with his being exposed to being on porn sites enjoying sets with watching sets with trans people, uh, uh, nude Africa being exposed to being on a, Af a site that's, uh, uh, you know, involved with pornography on Ashley Madison, which is a site if you want to have affairs and you're married and all of this. So the hypocrisy is exposed. And once again, as the Lord continues to pull the veils down, as we continue to talk about it, I posted in the community tab earlier about how another pastor has been exposed in Texas. That's 10, 10 in such a short period of time that have, so we know the Lord is exposing and removing people. And it doesn't matter if they're in the political realm. It doesn't matter wherever they are, school teacher. It doesn't matter. Anybody that is out here, especially using the Lord's name and shaming him and going about speaking in churches, acting like you so holy and better than everybody else. And unfortunately, now we see uh, uh, none of these Christian YouTubers that we talked about, as we talked about, you didn't hear anything about prayers for the Asian people, uh, 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 um, people from Haiti and, and all of that that's going through all of this turmoil because of lies. You ain't heard anything still from them. So you won't hear anything from many of these Christian nationalism YouTubers, the one that stand by this nonsense and stand by a lot of these people. You won't hear it. You may hear them talk about P. Diddy, though. They may talk about P. Diddy and all of that with the, his sexual allegations and all of these things that are going on and give you all of the story of that. But you won't hear anything coming about this. I wonder why is that? You never hear them come out and say anything towards the people that should be talked about within the spiritual realm. This guy professes to be a Christian. He's spoken and I don't know if he's a minister or something. Some of you may have to let me know, but I know he speaks at a lot of churches over the years. So, you, so this should be brought up within the Christian community. People that have went should be aware of this type of thing. You should be guarded who you let walk through your doors of the church. Nobody vets anybody anymore. Just let people come on their thing and speak in events wherever. My pastor was very strict about who got to speak, guest speakers, or if somebody bought up somebody that want to teach something and all of that. He was very guarded, his, con his flock, from false teaching. And unfortunately, you don't have that anymore. And these YouTubers, they're so quick to link up with everybody. And if you notice, all the false teachers will link up together. They will be doing messages together. They'll be proud to be on the microphones together, doing a, an event together or whatever they're doing. And they're both, all of them be false teachers. Then they'll gather up, make a flyer. And next thing you know, you're off at some event in some coliseum or some ta uh, uh, town hall style event or wherever. And see, and this is this, the deception where people have no type of discernment. They're not studying the word of God. They're totally lost. And they're just going wherever. That's wherever the wind blows, they're going to go. Whatever sounds good, they're going to go. And that's what's happening. Danger, 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 danger. You got to stop this madness. Because this guy right here is extremely connected to their idol and the one that they worship and their God, Donald Trump.
New voices in the Republican Party. He's been a great supporter of mine, and I'm a great supporter of his. Your incredible Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. He's the hottest guy in politics. One of the great stars of the party, one of the great stars in politics. He's been an unbelievable Lieutenant Governor. This is Martin Luther King on steroids. And as you can see, Trump promotes him. And then to say that this guy is Martin Luther King Jr. on steroids and all of this stuff is ridiculous. This Mark Robinson guy's a joke. He, he, he's, a, he, he's a Holocaust denier. He, he believes in slavery. He says slave basically thinks slavery should be back in place. I mean, he, he calls himself a black Nazi. I mean, you name it. This guy is nuts. And this is who Christians are going to churches when this guy's invited to speak and go into a church to listen to this madman. It shows you how much dysfunctional the church is in the state of the condition of the church and how this movement of this nationalism has torn the church apart and is continuing to rip it to shreds and people are being destroyed spiritually because of this. And you know what? They're not gonna get away with it. We know that the Lord sees and, and, and we know what he's doing right now. And this is just the beginning. As I mentioned to somebody when I responded, this is just the surface being scratched. You're not going to get away with shaming him and continuing to run around and lie in his name. And for those that these people out here that are promoting lies, hate and doing it in the Lord's name and acting like all is well and thinking you're going about it and you're going to walk down a yellow brick road and everything's going to be rosy. Oh, no. When the curtains pull back. It's going to be on you and you're going to have a lot to answer for as you stand before him and you're not going to get away with it. You better repent before it's too late. You know, we'll continue to expose it on this channel. Talk about issues the church run away from. Take the devil head on. Punch him right to retain the chops. Evangelism for God is the channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.